we get to all our players. And today, I'm going to share with you three things. Three things that I've learned that I wish I would have been taught many, many years ago when I first started learning how to play the guitar. And that was a, that was a long time ago. And these three things, uh, if you're just starting out on the guitar and you're totally frustrated trying to make your cards and make it, making the cards sound proper, you know, change from one to the other, these three tips are going to help you get started playing these, playing the guitar fast, quick, in a matter of days, not months. Uh, and we're talking about three cards here today. And I remember back when I first started, three of the cards I first started with was the G and the C and the D. Well, today I'm going to show you a special way to play those cards that are going to make it, it's going to make it a lot easier to make the cards sound clear and be able to change from one to the other. So you'll be playing, like I say, in a matter of days and being able to play hundreds and hundreds of songs with just three, these three cards. They're used in a lot of country and gospel uh, songs and, and a variety of other genders also. So what we're going to be talking about, we're, we're not going to play anything past the third fret. All these, these three cards will all be played third fret or below. Okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to lock in, what you're going to do, lock in these bottom two strings, the ring finger on the second string, third fret, and the little finger on the first string, third fret. Not on top of it, but right next to it. So you lock that in. Now these two fingers will not move as we change from one card to the other. They'll stay down. Then you want to, what you want to do is put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, right here, and then you add your second finger on the sixth string, third fret. That's the G, okay? That's the G, four fingered version of the G. Okay. So and it should sound like this. So when you first start, you want to make sure you play the chords right. So you you want to strum all the way down slowly. Make sure each string's ringing out, okay? Now, when I first started, I tried to learn G and then the standard C, okay? Standard C. And this is where most everyone starting out on the guitar has trouble, is making the movement to the card in a timely fashion and be able to press the card down, all the strings down firmly enough to where it sounds clear. So, by going from G, this card, to the way I'm getting ready to show you, you just move your first and second finger down one string each. Okay, here's the G. Okay. Move your first and second finger down one string each. The bottom two still stay at the bottom on the first and second string, third fret. That's C. Okay. Big difference. G, C. Compared to G, C. See all the big finger movement here. G, C. That's what stops everybody from learning how to play. You start trying to get from one card to the other. You're not able to get make the card properly. Not being able to make it sound right. With these, these cards, the way I'm showing you today, in a matter of days, 10 minutes a day, less than a week, you'll be playing these three cards, making them sound right, strumming from one to the other, and uh, everything, just really having fun playing the guitar and playing songs. And like I say, you play hundreds and hundreds of songs with these three chords. Okay? Okay, so we have G, and then we just move first finger and second finger down one string apiece. Okay? These two bottoms still at the bottom, first and second string, third fret. And that's C. And then we're going to go, if you want to go to D, all you do is move your, fir your first finger to the third string, second fret. Again, these two are still staying in the same place at the bottom. And there's D. See? There's D. So you just have to move one finger to D with these two still locked in. That's the third string, okay? First finger on third string, second fret. So what you have is G, first and second finger down, one string apiece, C. Simple as that. That's easy, isn't it? Compared to this and this. So G to C. And then D. Just 
just move your first finger to the third string, second fret, for D. Okay? So G. And what you can do, practice using downstrokes to start with. D. Back to G. And you can mix these up. You go G to D. And then G to C. G, C, G, D, G. So you can mix them up in any R. But get to where you can make them sound clear. Where you strum all the way down and every, every note sounds clear. Okay. And then bend over to move one to the other. The second tip uh, I'd like to share with you today is about strumming. Strumming. This is one of the hardest things for everyone to get used to, is be able to strum the guitar and continue the strum as you make the chord changes. Think of strumming as timing. You'll see a lot of lessons out there referring to uh, down, down, up, down, or up, down, down, up. A variation of, of down and up strokes like that and if you, if you try to learn it that way, it, you're going to be totally thrown off. These two hands will not be able to work together, which they have to. And uh, you just uh, disregard that. That down, up, up, down, whatever. The, the talk about scrubbing pattern. Just let your wrist relax and just create your strum. Now listen to the song and think of that, that beat. The beat of the song, like a drum. One, two, three, four. One, whatever whatever the beat is. And that will help you create a strum. And just get started strumming. And everything will clear up. And everything will come together as you practice. And uh, each time you practice, it's going to get a little easier, a little better. So think of strumming as timing. That's the second tip. Strumming is timing. Okay. The third thing I'm talking about is the capo. The guitar capo. Now, some of, you, some of you are probably familiar with this, and some of you probably are not. And you, what, what I like to do, I like to use the capo. I use it quite a bit. And what the capo is used for is to change the key. Uh, if, you, if you have a song that's in a uh, key you're not familiar with, like, like the, uh, let's say, key of D, and you want to change it, that's what the capo is. You learn where you need to put it to where you can play the key of D cards and play the standard cards that you're familiar with, like the G, C, and D, and uh, everything will work together. That's the main purpose of capo is change the key. But what I recommend, be sure to get you a capo, because this is the real, real uh, key thing. What I recommend is to get your capo. You can place it anywhere on your neck here. I like to do second, third, uh, fret, fourth fret in them. And what it allows you to do, just clamp it there and let it go straight down. What it allows you to do is two things. If you've got a, a guitar where the string height is high, it's so hard to learn how to play on that type of guitar. And a lot of guitars are like that, a lot, especially beginner guitars. So when you get a capo, you clamp it on there. If you've been having trouble pressing the strings down to the fretboard, clear it makes it uh, sound clear. Capo is going to solve the problem. Simple as that. Clamp the capo on anywhere you want on the neck. It doesn't matter. Clamp it anywhere. Most of the time, it's up on the first five or six frets. But you're going to be amazed at how much easier it is to play these cards. In this case, the G, the C, and the D. Okay? It's just, it becomes so much easier. So get your capo. The second thing capo does, depending on where you place it, you'll see the distance in between the frets gets closer and closer as you move down the neck. Okay? Or up the neck, however you want to look at it. Okay? The, the distance becomes closer. That allows you not to have as much spread for instance, to make the C here, and the C up here is quite a bit of difference in the fret placement. So it makes it so much easier, okay, to play the chord. So, 
get you a capo. If you're having trouble pressing the string down, your finger's getting real sore because the string height is so high, get your capo. It's gonna, it's gonna work, friends. Trust me, I've been teaching for over 40 years, and it's gonna, it's gonna be one of the keys to getting you started playing the guitar quick. Having fun, keeping it simple. That's what it's all about. If you've been uh, going all over looking at different videos at different uh, places on the internet, and it's been really totally confusing, which I'm sure it has been for some of you, push it all aside. Three chords. G, C, D. G, C, D. Play with the two fingers locked in down here. Okay? That's all it is. G, Okay, first and second finger, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the little finger and the ring finger on the first and second string, third fret. Those stay locked in. The G, first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Second finger on the sixth string, third fret. Two bottoms locked in. This G. To go to C, all you got to do, move the first and second finger down, one string apiece. The two bottoms stay there at the bottom. There's C, okay. and then finally D, just move your first finger to the third string, second fret, with the two bottoms still there, locked in, and there's D. And then once you start strumming, just get create your strum. When you practice, uh, after you get the downstrokes and get the card to sound clear, like this, just create your strum. And let your wrist relax. Just go back and forth. Smooth and even. And just change to the card. And the key to it also, changing card, is you'll change in, betre in between the strums. For instance, if you're strumming G. See, I'm, I'm in between my strums and then I go to C. Okay? My strum, G. In between, in between the card, but the strum you change card. In between D, just like that. That keeps everything flowing smooth and even. And and again, don't get frustrated and don't over practice. Keep it simple. Ten minutes a day. It's all you need. Uh, again, play these cards the way I'm showing you here, and I'm. Seven days or less, you're going to have the cards down. You'll be playing them clear. And you'll be able to play it, playing the, uh, the easy version like this. Playing songs. Get you playing quick. Having fun. That's what it's all about. 99.9% uh, .9 of all people want to learn how to play guitar. Want to do it for their own enjoyment. To play along with other family members who have guitars. Or entertain other, uh, the family when you gather for the holidays or around the campfire. Or maybe even want to join a little church group. Uh, just the, the key elements to keep it simple, just the way I'm showing you with these three cards. These three cards. So all you want to start with is three. And uh, there's another one we can add, but I'll do that in another video. Start with G, C, and D. Okay. Now the lead song I was playing when I came in was Amazing Grace. You can, like I say, you play all types of. Uh, uh, gospel hymns and uh, a lot of country songs and any kind of rock and roll, whatever it is, blues, whatever you want to play. Okay? like that. Don't put it off any longer. Ten minutes. Sit down. Right now. Stay right there at your guitar. Play these three chords. And you'll be playing songs in no time at all. Just a few days.
If you enjoyed this lesson, uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the red button below, and the little bell symbol, click that bell symbol, and you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Uh, leave your comments below if you've enjoyed this lesson. Um, I try to put up a video every week, sometimes twice a week, so uh, I try to keep it fresh. I always try to answer the comments. Any questions you have, leave them in the comment section below. Always glad to help anyone with any kind of uh, problem they have uh, when they're first learning how to play guitar or during the process of learning how to play guitar. So again, subscribe. Um, and remember, three cards is all you need to play hundreds and hundreds of songs. And with the use of the capo, which I'll show you in, in a later video, you can change the keys. It will also help you play the uh, strings easier because it brings the string height down and it also reduces the fret distance as you move the capo up the distance between the frets gets shorter so three things very key things and uh if i like to say if i would, would have had someone sit down and teach me what i've just gone over here for you uh, i'd have been playing I, I know i'd have been playing a matter of days a week at the most and uh, again, if you enjoyed it, leave your comments, subscribe. Until next time, let's go play some guitar.